Hey there, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the Chicago Griller. Here in the United States, we are in the middle of autumn, which means we're also right in the middle of American football season, which also means that we are in the peak chicken wing consumption season. So today on the show, I'll be grilling up some BBQ chicken wings with a twist. I'll actually be grilling up two sets of chicken wings and doing a taste test between the two. One with wings purchased from Aldi and one with wings purchased from Whole Foods. So which store sells the better tasting wings? Crank up that gas and fire up that grill and let's go and find out. Hey there again everyone, I am Jerry and welcome back to the show, The Chicago Griller. This is the show where I share my favorite tips, tricks, and recipes for the Weber Q and other gas grills. If you think you're going to find this program helpful, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing. All it takes is hitting that red button down below until it turns gray. Anyways, as I said, today I am going to be grilling up two batches of chicken wings. I have purchased these from two local grocery stores here in Chicago. This batch of wings was purchased from Aldi. It is a grocery store chain based in Germany that sells many of their items for lower cost. Their lower costs aren't necessarily because of lower quality, it's because they have a business model where they operate smaller stores with smaller selection and a smaller staff. These wings cost $2.29 per pound. This batch of chicken wings was purchased from Whole Foods. This is a grocery store chain based in Austin, Texas, and markets themselves as a bit of a quote-unquote premium grocer. The products that they sell are supposedly responsibly raised and are free of artificial additives, hormones, and steroids. These wings were $3.99 a pound, so are considerably more expensive. I'll be preparing both sets of wings exactly the same way so that we could find out if difference in price equals a difference in flavor. So let me know in the comments section down below how you think this taste test comparison is going to go while I go and reset in the kitchen. Okay, and I have both packages of wings unwrapped and I have portioned out one pound of wings into these bowls. In the bowl to the camera's right are the Whole Foods wings and the ones to the left are the Aldi wings. Both sets of wings contain drumettes and flats. And again, in the Aldi wings, drumettes and flats. Side by side, the wings are about the same size, but you will notice that the Aldi wings have a little bit of a yellowish tinge. That is a little curious because the packaging did say no added colors. We'll see if that makes a difference. Anyways, to prepare the wings, we are drizzling both sets of wings with some extra virgin olive oil and then hitting them with a dry rub. You can use whatever barbecue rub you like. Today I am using a homemade blend that is mostly paprika and garlic based. The full composition is in the description down below. And now that both sets of wings have been hit with seasoning, it's time to mix it all together. You want to be thorough while you're mixing so that all the wings are coated in oil and the dry rub. And now over to the Whole Foods wings. Great. And I think I'm going to hit both with another round of oil and seasonings. And mixing. And now both sets of wings are ready for the grill. So let the games begin. Aldi vs Whole Foods. And now out here on the patio, the Weber Q is preheating. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do before you cook on the grill is clean the grill grates so they're free of any residue. Then I'm going to apply a fresh layer of oil on both sides of the grill grates. And now that the grates have been oiled, we're ready to place the chicken directly on the grill. Chicken wings on the grill like a low heat because it gives it time to cook through thoroughly while also giving it plenty of time to crisp up the skin. Anyways, today I am organizing my wings so that the Aldi wings are on the left half of my grill. And as you can see, one pound of wings 
just barely squeezes into the left half of the grill. And on the right half of my grill, I will be placing the Whole Foods wings. So all in all, two pounds of cut chicken wings fits perfectly on this Weber Q2000. Once all the wings are on board, we're gonna shut the lid and let this cook. The total cook time will be 40 minutes, but you wanna turn these wings every eight minutes or so, just so that they cook evenly and so that the skin doesn't stick to the grates. And as you can see, I have a nice crisp on all sides of the wings because I've already turned this a couple times in this cook. And you'll see, it's nice and evenly seared and cooked on both sides. Anyways, continue cooking and rotating the wings every eight minutes. And after 40 minutes, these wings are done. So go ahead and open the lid and pull them all off the grill. Just remember, the wings on the grill's left are from Aldi and the ones from the right are from Whole Foods. So let's head inside and see how they taste. Okay, and here we are back inside. The wings have been fully cooked. My lovely girlfriend has randomly placed two chicken wings on this cutting board here for me to taste test. So I guess I'll dive right in and see which wing is best. To finish these wings off, I am going to be using some Mike's Hot Honey just to give these wings a little extra kick of sweetness and spice. A little bit there and a little bit here. So let's dive into this first wing. Mm. It's good, it's crunchy, it's crispy. I can really taste that paprika and the garlic and the chili powder in it. I think Huey can smell it too because he just ran down the stairs. Excellent, these are very good. Let's see how they compare to the other one. So as expected, the taste is actually very similar. I could taste the paprika, the garlic, the spices, and the honey. I think the wing, excuse me. I think the wing on this side is actually a little bit crispier, but the taste is safe itself is actually about the same. Um, based on taste alone, I would probably actually call this a draw, but if we're taking everything into account, including texture, I like the wing on my left uh, and on the camera's right. So, which one was which? I will side, I will side with Aldi. So this side was the Aldi, and this side was Whole Foods. So Whole Foods, actually, if you take everything into account, wins this wing battle. Taste was a tie, but texture, slight nod to the whole food side. Anyways, I'm gonna go polish off the rest of these wings and then we'll come back for a recap. Okay, and I'm back after polishing off the rest of those wings. So I went into this taste test thinking that I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between these wings. After all, chicken is chicken, right? And I was only mostly right because what did surprise me was that there was indeed a difference in the crispiness of the skin. After eating the whole batch, the Whole Foods ones were indeed definitely consistently crispier than the Aldi batch. I don't think this was because the heating of the grill was uneven, because the meat was thoroughly cooked throughout in all pieces of chicken. The only difference that I could see between the wings was that the Whole Foods wings made a point of saying in their packaging that the chicken was raised in a quote unquote free to roam barn. So free to roam means better skin? Regardless, if all of these wings today were mixed in a large bowl and tossed together and I wasn't told to compare the differences, I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference or wouldn't even think of the difference between the crispiness in the skin. So all that said, if you are preparing a huge batch of wings for a football party or a tailgate, just go get more bang for the buck 
and buy the Aldi wings. However, if you want to eat maybe a little bit more natural and wholesome meat, maybe, again, just maybe, because the Aldi packaging claims the same thing of having no hormones, additives, or additional flavors, then by all means, go spend the extra money on the Whole Foods wings. So that will do it for my very first Aldi versus Whole Foods comparison and taste test video. If you enjoyed this program, definitely hit the like button and leave a comment in the section below. I'd be very curious to hear from you guys to see if this was the result that you were expecting. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching today. If you have the time, definitely check out some of the other videos that I have on this channel. I have a lot of great recipes, tips, and tricks for the Weber Q and other gas grills. Thank you very much as always for watching today. I can't wait to see you all again next time. Bye.